Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to another BJ and Co Minecraft tutorial video. My name is Ben and I'll be taking you guys through today with uh, a few more of the achievements. Well, one one achievement in particular we're going to tackle today. We're going to take it a little bit slower because it is uh it is a long weekend and I've been having some issues. You can see I may have a wither spawning platform there. I may have died in the middle of nowhere. I might have some stuff up there, but I might also have a wither hiding around there. So I'm going to spend some time getting myself kitted up before we tackle wither hunting um, and actually have a decently designed box to put them into instead of, because my cheese stuff's not working. So we're going to look at the beneath today. Uh, the beneath dimension is uh, kind of a neat little area where we can, super dark and we can get lots and lots of ores from in there, uh, but there is lots of enemies as well. So we've got our jetpack loaded up. Uh, you can see I'm a little less kitted than normal. Uh, but we do have a jetpack. We've got diamond armor going on. Uh, we'll work a little bit harder on that soon. Diamond armor doesn't seem... Oh, I don't have the... I don't have the armor on the backpack. That's why. I'm like, I seem like I have no armor going on. Um, but yeah, so that's what we're going to do. We're going to jump into that. Before we jump into that, just want to say if you guys have been enjoying this, smash that like button. Consider commenting down... Or consider subscribing if you want to see updates when all the new content goes live. And uh, if you've got any questions, concerns, thoughts, want me to hit certain achievements next, let me know down in the comments below. I love hearing from you guys. And it's just fun to chat if you want to drop by and say hi. Uh, let's get straight on into it, boys. So, the beneath. What is the beneath? How do you get to it? Beneath is in a separate dimension. To get to it, we need a teleporter. In this instance, this is the teleporter we're looking for. And it's not such a hard one to get because there is... Um, three different things you need. We need some of these unstable ender eyes. We need quadruple compressed cobblestone and the quintuple compressed cobblestone. These are fairly easy to get, the cobblestone blocks, because all it is is taking nine cobblestone, putting that together, that makes the first well well compressed. And then you take nine of those and compress it again, and nine of those and compress it again. So the recipe is super easy, right? Like if I just take cobble, boom, that gets me a compressed cobblestone, right? If I get nine of these, we can do on and do that. And then we've got the double compressed. So then nine of these will make the next level of it. What I find works best is make yourself pattern for them, guys, or use a compressor. Um, I like to just make the pattern so I can just go in if I type cobble. Holy smokes here, what do I have here? I've already made the patterns for the compressed, the double, the triple, the quadruple, and the quintuple. So all it does is when I grab what I need, I can just hit craft and it'll do it. So we need one quintuple, and then we're going to need four... Sorry. Yeah, one quintuple, and we're going to need four quadruples. So we're going to get this crafting two more for us. Uh, you can see this is fairly significant. We need quite a few uh, blocks, and if you mouse over them, so this is 59,000 blocks. I strongly suggest uh, if you are going to start tackling this, and it's neat in that there is also a uh, one of these somewhere at the very end, I think. Craft a single octuple compressed all cobblestone block so start getting the highest tier cobblestone generator and just have it feeding straight into your system now that you guys know how to do the patterns and everything you can automate your storage i mean i've had this draining in for a while and i still got lots um so strongly suggest doing that so we can get those blocks that we need let's see how we're doing oh no it's still working on the quadruple so while it's working on the quadruple what else do we need we need four of these unstable ender eyes. And these should be relatively easy to get. Uh, ender pearls, you can get from uh, loot bags. You can, I mean, there's lots of different ways to get them. I, my automated farm has been getting them for me because I made it three high so endermen can spawn in there. So that's how I've got mine. I've got plenty of them ready to go. The second piece that we're gonna need is that wither dust. Now we were just in the nether recently. Uh, you can kill some withers in there and try to collect the dust from it. You can also upgrade your um, mob farm, like I have done, is uh, take some witch water. So uh, mycelium, you should have the seeds to make this. I think I've gone over this in another video, but uh, if you guys wanna know, shoot it down below. It's, I believe it's the ancient spores you use on dirt. Turns it into the mycelium. You put a stone barrel on top and this does Interesting things to a lot of different stuff, but water turns into witch water, and witch water hurts you a little bit when you stand in it and gives you weird debuffs. But uh, if it's used on mobs, it changes them into stronger mobs. So the skeleton turns into well Skeletons turn into wither skeletons, if I could actually speak. And then our um, 
creepers also turns into char turn into charged creepers so those can be a little bit sketchy in there but yeah so just dump one of these in your mob farm i mean my mob farm is big enough that i've just plopped it on one side it spreads over um so that mobs spawn behind it get blown over it turn into the new thing and it gets split up so we can see in here if we look up wither i've got uh, some wither heads which will be great for spawning withers but also to make these wither skeleton seeds which we'll go over in the next episode specifically about wither stuff uh and also i've got tons of wither dust so if we just jump in here should have everything i need to make the four of these that i need boom 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 and we're going to take a look at cobble and make sure have we got quadruple yet I wonder if I can just get rid of her. It does you can tell see how long it's taking to craft this. But there I can I can just auto drop one of them into the quadruple and we should be fine. Quintuple quadruple. Why are you not there we go? Those are stacking. So with that we should have everything we need. You get your quintuple in the middle, your quadruple around the corners, and then our lovely unstable eyes. And that gets us our beneath teleporter. So this we can just plop down wherever we want. I mean, I really, I really got to clean this place up a little bit. I'm sorry, guys. It looks so bad right now. But we drop it down. Make sure if you're going into here uh, specifically, give yourself some sort of flying. I mean, we went over that a long time ago. But make sure you can fly because it is. And get your torches. Because part of the beneath is it's really freaking dark. Let's take a look, boys. What do we got? What do we got? What do we got? Is it going to crash? Is it going to crash? Oh, so the first thing you want to do is drop down your um, torches because the darkness in here can actually hurt you, which is kind of sketchy. Now, uh, what are we at? We're at Y level. I mean, we're right kind of in the middle. We're at... Huh. I mean, we're not in a bad spot, so... I'm curious, we should be fairly good to get out. I'm noticing that there's a lot of mobs coming right in this direction, so let's mine a bit and see. You can see how dark it is very easily. Uh, so I'll mine and I'll get back to you once I find something interesting. Ooh, no, we're almost there. We're almost there. I just saw my map change a little bit, so. So worried about stepping out there. Oh, I hear something. There's a zombie. We got some zombies. We got some creepers. But this is it. This is the beneath. I'm not taking much damage in the dark, which is good. I've heard that that is an issue in some places, but... Okay, so, we're out here. It is like a giant underground cavern. As we look around, we've got some different things like, oh, there's some coal there. we got some more coal there. I really should waypoint this thing before I lose it, so let's do that really quickly. Get the portal, save it. So that's where that is, and let's just do a brief look around the outsides. I mean, actually, let's... I see something sort of glowing down here. So we'll take a look over here. That's obviously some redstone. But we've got, you know, if we need some diamonds, we've got some diamond ore down here. We've got the redstone. We've got inferium. Always nice. We've got lead. We've got... I hear more things yelling weird things at us. We've got prosperity ore. More inferium ore. Kind of a nice place if we... Ooh! And I got hit by so. Oh. Oh. oh, Jesus. That was a bit uh, a bit intense there. So something did uh, mess with us a little bit. So we've got some skeletons here spawning around. It is fairly dark, so it's hard to see what we've got. But there is also like a a ghoulish thing that kind of can mess with you a lot um it's it's an interesting area to explore take lots of lights with you is that oh it's just black quartz so i mean i'm just trying to get a, a very brief look around it's what it, I'm, I'm looking for like cobalt and man, um ardite see if any of that's around but most of this is just stuff you're looking for lapis lazul zombies it's a good place i mean if you want to fight some some mobs get some experience 
It's a place you can do it. Seems like a little extra work than you need, but... Ooh. See, if you can hear that thing, there's something coming. Uh, oh yeah, something's made me very dark. So that jerk is back around that was giving me a hard time before. Ooh, what's down there? What's down there? Oh, Jesus. <sighs> Motherfucker. Oh, it's interesting that they're burning in my jetpack. Fuck. What is that? Oh, yellow, right? Yeah, I'd like you guys just to die for me, please, so I can explore what I'd like to explore. I mean, I guess I could just... Bump -ba -dump -ba -dump -bump. Bust a cap in their ass? Or their face? Really should get... I mean, I want some suggestions. What sort of ticker of weapons do you guys want me to be running? What, what would you enjoy to see? One more. One more. Come on. Okay. So literally, I just wanted to look at what this thing is. That looks interesting. I want to dig it. A moonstone. Okay, cool. So, I mean, you can get some of that. I mean, the prosperity shards are just going to be prosperity shards, which are always handy for mystical agriculture. So, I mean, take some time. Explore around. Check out what you got here. There's lots of lots of neat things to see. It's also a kind of a way... Well, there's lots of guaranteed ways in this game to get all sorts of stuff. But explore. See what you... See what you find. See what you like. Fuck off. Um... And yeah, it's kind of just a neat way to go go about some of the other stuff in the game. Uh, it is super dark. What can you do about it? But you can actually mine stuff in Minecraft, finally. <laughs> or, sorry, Sky Factory Minecraft. But yeah, so that's 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 the beneath. Dark as hell. Hard to see. Bring your torches and have some fun, boys. But that's all I'm going to show you guys today. Um, the Like I said, it is the long weekend, so we're, gonna, we're not going to go too crazy on everything. Um... Great place to get things. Ooh, raw, raw limestone. Maybe I'll grab some of that. I don't have any of that yet. I'm a hoarder. What can I say? Uh, if you guys have been enjoying this series and want to see more, smash that like button, subscribe to the channel for updates when all the new content comes live, and uh, give me some suggestions again on Tinker's Weapons that you want me to run. Uh, if you guys really want to join the community, play games with people, all that fun stuff, consider checking out our Discord channel. Link is down in the description below. And if you really want to support us, uh, check out our Patreon page. For as little as a dollar a month, you can help support us to allow us to grow the channel and create more and better content for you as we go. So thanks for being here, guys. Uh, we will hopefully see you in the next one next week. Talk to you later. Bye.